a very warm welcome to ladies, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen i dr shyamli singh faculty and coordinator center for environment and climate change along with my faculty colleague dr surbhi pande feel honored to share the 68th annual report for the year 2021-22 iap is fortunate to have the leadership of shri jagdeep dhankar honorable vice president of india and president of iapa and dr jitendra singh honorable union minister and chairman of iapa the annual report is bucketed into four major clusters namely training research activities information management and associational and outreach activities the annual report shed light on institute finance academic activities committees and report from various centers housed at iapa faculty academic initiatives or faculty administrative and personal matters the focus of iapa persisted as the trainings improved qualitatively in particular spheres of governance despite the setbacks brought on by covid iapa emerged within a year as a leader in the blended mode of capacity building programs the training division of the department of personal and training government of india funded the flagship program of iapa the 47th advanced professional program in public administration widely known as appa this 10th month flagship program trained 31 senior officers from the all india and central services including the armed forces dr jiten singh union minister and chairman iapa officially launched the 47th appa course during his remarks the minister underlined the maxim minimum attendance maximum productivity in light of the covid pandemic the year 2021-22 also witnessed the grand inauguration of 200 seater state of art tnc memorial lecture hall at iapa as a reminiscence of our beloved ex chairman late shri tn chaturvedi ji several other sponsored programs ran concurrently with the long term flagship programs various other ministries departments and public sector undertakings including the department of personnel and training ministry of personnel public grievances and pensions the national mission for clean ganga department of water resources river development and ganga rejuvenation ministry of jal shakti the ministry of urban development ministry of tribal affairs ministry of external affairs department of science and technology ministry of home affairs and a number of others are amongst the iipas intriguing sponsors the fee based programs that the institution conducts are the added feather to the cap of the organization as the pandemic had gripped the globe iipa could not hold the previous year convocation ceremony thus a combined convocation ceremony for the 46th and 47th appa took place on april 29 2022 On the occasion, Dr. Jitendra Singh, Honorable Union Minister and Chairman, presented postgraduate degree of MPhil and diploma in public administration to 31 participants of 47th APA, as well as MPhil degree through Punjab University Chandigarh to the participant of 46th APA. Memorandum of Understanding was signed between IIPA and Bhaskara Chare National Institute for Space Applications and Geo Informatics, BSAG N. In the fiscal year 21-22, IAPA conducted 101 training programs and training workshop in addition to APA where 12,303 officials from various organization across India received training. Under the project Blended Capacity Building Program for stakeholders of River Ganga, IAPA conducted 15 school trainings in which it trained 11,432 school students from approximately 100 schools capacitated 869 master trainers and trained 113 urban local body officers additionally under itech program sponsored by ministry of external affairs provided six online training programs to both indian and international government officials research being another major feature of iipa the institute completed 16 research projects and have 18 ongoing research projects which are sponsored by various ministries and centers some of which include national mission for clean ganga department of water resources river development and ganga rejuvenation ministry of jal shakti ministry of tribal affairs ministry of home affairs niti aayog department of justice ministry of panchayati raj and the like on the publication front the institute disseminated information analyzes opinion 
knowledge pertaining to public administration, governance, policy and development. IAPA released six publications this year. Four edition of the Indian Journal of Public Administration, IJPA. Four edition of Documentation in Public Administration, DPA. Four edition of Nagar Lok. Two edition of Lok Precession. Four edition of IAPA Digest. Twelve edition of Digital Newsletter. And two IAPA Lit Fest events were also organized by Institute's Publication Division. There is no denial that we all are indulged on various social media handles, which proves how important social media is. In order to keep up with the trend, IAPA employs a variety of social media platforms including YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn and others to promote its events, publications, training programs and other activities. IAPA has placed a strong emphasis on knowledge exchange and its library has grown to include approximately 2.29 lakhs volume of books and bounded journals. The library received 237 periodicals including 17 newspapers throughout the course of this year. Online access to more than 21 magazines, lead journals and publication is available through the IAPA library website. IAPA library provides value added services including book alert, article alert, weekly news alert and the current contents to keep its users updated. We are happy to inform that out of 7,000 libraries, the IIPA library has been named the best library and has received a certificate of appreciation from Delnet. Maintaining the legacy of IIPA, 89 institute members attended the 67th annual meeting of journal body, which was led by Sri M. Venkhanaiduji, the former Honorable Vice President of India and the then President of IIPA. To maintain the legacy of IAPA on the 60th Founders Day celebration, IAPA witnessed Dr. Rajendra Prasad International Memorial Lecture on March 29, 2020. Honorable ex-Vice President of India and ex-President IAPA, Sri M. Venkaya Naidu, was the chief guest and first keynote speaker of the event. A book, Sardar Patel, Builder of Aspirational India, edited by Sri S. Intripati Sir and Dr. Saket Bihari, was also released during the event. The Institute's 65th Members Annual Conference theme was Atnirbhar Bharat and its various aspects. Dr. Pavan Kumar Taneja presented the theme paper in which he highlighted the concept. The total membership for the year is 11,149 which includes annual, life, associate, student and corporate members. As desired by the President IIPA to have a better network with 24 regional and 43 local branches and to motivate them, the first ever award for best performance was awarded to Bihar local branch. It carries a cash award of rupees 10,000 and a certificate. The Jammu and Kashmir regional branch and Rajasthan regional branch have been awarded with a certificate of appreciation for their outstanding performance in number 2 and 3 respective. Promote effective public policy systems. IAPA recognizes as well as celebrates the contribution of those associated with it. Ms. Parul Jain and Sri Anil Kumar Jain received Sri TN Chaturvedi Award for the best essay published in the IJPA for the year 2020 for their article on Reforms in Direct Administration in India in the year 1996-2016. The Sri TN Chaturvedi Award for excellence in public service was instituted by IIPA in collaboration with IIPA Alumni Association. The award includes a cash prize of rupees 1 lakh as well as a citation and a plaque. The award was given to Asian Institute of Transport Development Dwarka, New Delhi. For the academic year 2019-20, Dr. Saket Bihari, Associate Professor IIPA, received the Sri TN Chaturvedi Memorial Certificate of Appreciation for completing the most research studies. Dr. UC Agarwal Memorial Certificate of Appreciation was awarded to Dr. Charu Malhotra, Associate Professor IIPA, for maximum number of articles authored by an IIPA faculty. Every year, as a part of its outreach efforts, IIPA hosts an essay competition. This year, 78 entries on sustainable economy in pandemic, Atmanirbhar Bharat, Mission Karma Yogi, capacity building for public service delivery, and a new education policy of G Government of India were received in both English and Hindi. Cash prize were presented to the winners. The institute hosts 
an annual case study award competition to promote high quality case studies. Four case studies were submitted in English and the prizes were awarded at the annual general body meeting. Regarding finances, the institute's income was rupees 37.94 crores compared to 37.94 crore in expenditure. Out of the total income of 37.94 crore, the institute had received grant in ad, salary, general and capital of rupees 28.37 crore from the DOPT Government of India. The total income from internal resources during the year was rupees 9.57 crore as against rupees 5.04 crore in the previous year. The institute also received a grant in aid capital of rupees 891.50 lakh from government for implementation of various activities of capital nature against which total expenditure of rupees 891.50 lakh was incurred. The main items of expenditure were ICT activities, library, strengthening of regional local branches, infrastructure development and renovation work. We profusely thank Shri M. Venkaya Naidu, former Vice President of India and the then President of IIPA for his continuous support, motivation and direction. IIPA has been able to excel in all its earnest endeavours under his mentorship. The baton of responsibility has now been relayed to Shri Jagdeep Dhankar, Honourable Vice President of India and President of IIPA and we aspire to continue the legacy. Our deepest gratitude to Dr. Jitendra Singh, the Honorable Union Minister of State for Personal and Public Grievances, Pension Government of India, and a Chairman of IAPA for his extensive support. We are grateful for the ministries and departments for their ongoing interest in the work of the IAPA. Last but not the least, deep sense of gratitude to the entire IAPA fraternity who worked hard to make the entire year an aplomb success. We are certain that with their constant support, IIPA will continue to successfully act as a think tank for the architects of public policy and practitioners of public administration and governance and will continue to fly higher and higher and higher. Thank, Thank you, you everyone, everyone and Jai Hind. Hind.